and you know what that's going to look like. Okay, so what we have here is two three ways, both being the feed side. The other ends will be the switch leg sides. We have two 14-4, it's the middle of the hallway. Two 14-4 Romexes coming into a two gang box. So the first thing we're gonna do here is separate the grounds. You notice I left the wires long and that's for the grounds. So I have to take the two grounds, even them together, take my pliers, and we're gonna just twist them as far back as they'll go into the box. So we have pretty much a hands width of wire coming out of the box. I need a little bit more, so what I'll do is I'll put a couple more twists on it. So that's that. We have two switches in the box, two wires. That'll be two tails. So what we end up doing is taking our, we take a copper crimp sleeve, we slide it on, Then we crimp it. Now those wires can't come apart. We take it, we put that all the way back into the back of the box, leave those wires hanging. Now, our next thing is our neutrals. So we take our two neutrals, they're feeding right through this box, they're not going into the lot, they're not going up in any other wires like in our last switch. So we cut them at least the fist lengths out of the box. We strip them. We twist them. We wire another. them. Those then get pushed in to the back of the box nice and neatly. Give us a lot of space. So now, what we're gonna do is, our red and blue and our four wire are gonna be our travelers. So we take those, separate them out from our blacks. Our black is gonna be feed in, feed out. So what we're gonna do is, again, measure them out, cut them. Strip them. I have two tails left over from my long wiring. We're going to strip those. We're going to line up our wiring. We're going to twist again with our pliers. We're going to get a wire nut out of our apron and we're going to twist these. Now, I'll pull these back out this way, just so I can get these wires neatly into our box again. Now I take our two black feeds, I take our two copper grounds, and then I take my front hallway, and what I do is I twist these all together. And now I consistently try to keep my black as the point so to me this is easy and if I had a look later, it's easy enough. I cut these a little long. I take these, I loop them together. So I have my feed, my two travelers and my ground. Again, I cut them. Now I take them and I can nice and neatly accordion them up into the box. And that's, now my rough is done. When the time comes, I can take those wires, I can pull them out. I have all my wires from my three-way switch and they go right on.
There's no question as to what is what. And that's how, that's how we do the two three-way switches. If it was a single switch, you may have a dead end. Cap the neutral off, stick that in. But this matches and fits the IEC code, the energy efficiency code now, where you need a neutral and a hot in three-way and four-way boxes for the purpose of energy efficient devices like timers, motion sensors, things like that. And even though here we have an attic above and I can get away without doing that, I do it anyway, just consistency in how I do my so that's how we do that. We saw the four-way before that. And if we had 